Welcome to the evidence-based searching class. In this portion of the online class, I will demonstrate how to do an evidence-based search in Ovid Medline. The first thing that you'll want to do is to go to the Lapis Library homepage and click on the link for electronic resources. If you'll scroll down, you'll notice that Medline via Ovid is one of our core resources. So you can click on the link here. As you'll notice, we have several different Ovid Medlines to choose from. I generally recommend using the first since it covers 1950 to the present and you can always limit your date range later. I'm going to click on the link for the database right now. And here is Ovid Medline. It's recommended that if you're not familiar with searching Medline via Ovid, that you check out our Help Sheet and Tutorials page and complete that tutorial first. For this example, we are going to use the search that I mentioned in the introductory video for this class. A 45-year-old woman comes to your office. She is suffering from clinical depression but is strongly opposed to taking prescription medications. She wants to know if St. John's wort is as effective as traditional antidepressants for treating her symptoms. We've already done the PICO for this question, so we know that for P, we have a 45 years old woman and depression. For our I, we have St. John's wort. Our C is traditional antidepressants. And our O is decrease in symptoms of depression. We need to break our search down into concepts so that we can take advantage of subject searching in Ovid's Medline. I recommend starting with the disorder or the disease first when you do your search. So we're going to go back to Ovid Medline and I'm going to start by searching for depression. I'm going to go ahead and explode so that I'm including as many different types of depression as possible and I'm going to click on the continue button. In this case, we're interested in St. John's wort for the treatment of depression, so I'm going to pick drug therapy from the left side of the screen. And then click on continue. We now have our search for depression with drug therapy. If you remember, we're also looking at St. John's as a possible treatment, so I'm going to go ahead and put St. John's wort into the search box. Notice that I have not used a period after the SANT or an apostrophe between the N and the S. That is because most databases do not like the use of non-alphanumeric characters in the search box. We'll go ahead and click on the search button and we see that our term has been mapped to Hypericum. We could look at the scope note to make sure that's correct but I already know that Hypericum is the scientific name for St. John's wort. We'll click on Explode in case there are different types of Hypericum and Continue. We're given an option to pick subheadings for Hypericum. Since I've already selected the subheading for drug therapy with depression, I will not choose therapeutic use with Hypericum. This is just my opinion. There are, of course, different ways to search and none of them are completely incorrect. So we'll click on continue. And the other part of our search, of course, was that we wanted to compare Hypericum with traditional antidepressants. So I'm going to come to my search box and put in antidepressants. And then click on the search button. You'll notice our term is mapped from antidepressants to antidepressive agents. That's okay. We're going to click on explode and then click on continue. Again, we do have options for subheadings, but I already used my subheading with depression, so I'm not going to use it at this point. I'm going to just click on continue. We have our three terms. We can look back at our PICO to make sure we've gotten them all. So we know we have St. John's wort, traditional antidepressants, and depression. We do need to keep in mind that we have 45 years old and woman as other limits for our search, but as I just said, they're limits, so we're going to wait until the very end to apply those. Go back to Ovid Medline, 
Now I want articles that talk about all three of these topics, so I'm going to check the boxes to the left and click on and. We come up with 75 results. We now want to make sure that we're looking at articles that discuss women in the correct age range because we want to deal with articles similar to our patient. We have some limits here and our frequently used limits, but I'm going to go down here and click on the additional limits button. On this screen we have several different limits to choose from. Two limits that I almost always apply are English language, which you can see here in the middle, and humans, since we want clinically relevant information. If you scroll down the page, you see that we have our age groups. In this example, our patient is 45 years old, so we're going to scroll down and find the best age range to suit her. In this case, middle age starts at 45, so we'll get that. But since she's only 45, she's kind of on the cusp, I might go ahead and select adult as well. We also know that our patient is a female, so we're going to come down to our check tags and we can select female from the drop box. I'm going to scroll back to the top of the page and click on the limit a search button. As you can see, we've gone from 75 results down to 18 just by limiting to female and the appropriate age range. We could go through these one by one to see which ones were considered evidence-based, or we can limit the search further. I'm going to scroll down and limit the search more, so I'm going to click on that additional limits button again. At this point, you may want to open the document that I've labeled Limits Handout from the Evidence-Based Searching Online Class page. If you scroll down, we're going to pick the box that says Publication Types. And from this box, we're going to select the appropriate publications. There are two ways to do this. We could start at the top of the pyramid with meta-analysis, limit the search, see if we have any of those, and if we don't, move down the pyramid to systematic review, and so forth and so on. When you're first getting started with evidence-based searching, you may want to just limit to any of the evidence-based literature publication types, and then go through and try to pick the strongest evidence afterwards. That's what I'm going to do today. So I'm going to click on case reports, and then hold the control button on my keyboard so that I can select more than one. I'll get clinical trial all, clinical trial, controlled clinical trial, guideline, which is a lower level of evidence but still considered evidence-based sometimes, meta-analysis, practice guideline, randomized controlled trial, And that's all. If I didn't find any in these subject or in these publication types, I might go back and limit to review, but since it's a really low level of evidence, I'm not going to do it at this point. So I'll scroll to the top of the page and click on limit a search. We've gone from 18 articles down to 16, which is a reasonable amount to go through. This concludes the portion of the class that deals with finding evidence-based literature within Medline via Ovid. There are other databases that are used often and you can find videos for those on the online evidence-based searching class page.